What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're having an amazing day. And today's video, we're going to take a look at how you can install Android 16 on your Galaxy S7, S7 Edge, Note 7, Note FE, Exynos 8890. And this is quite tricky, but again, this is a nine year old device and running Android 16 is quite a feat thanks to the treble support. Cause originally this device didn't have anything cause it's launched on Android Marshmallow. But let's just get to the installation. So prerequisites over here are you should be having a basic knowledge of installing custom ROMs. If you don't have that, refer to a video which will tell you how to OEM unlock your device and install a TWRP recovery depending on your phone. Once you install a TWRP recovery, just go to it by powering off your device, holding on your power volume up and the home at same time in order to enter the recovery. And the installation method is subject to change according to when you're watching this video, but I'll be leaving a link in the description for pretty much everything. Once you enter the TWRP recovery, copy the partitioner and the custom Azure TWRP recovery. Once you copy both of those two files, just swipe to unlock, go to install, install image, select the TWRP recovery, select as a recovery, swipe to install. This recovery is quite necessary in order to avoid any failures in installation. So just reboot the recovery like that. And make sure you have backed up all of your data cause we will be repartitioning our phone in order to accommodate the larger Android 16. So it will shrink your internal storage, give more space to the system and again wipe everything that you have. So go to install, select the repartitioner, confirm to flash. Again, this will just pause for 20 seconds in order to prevent any loss of data if you accidentally trigger it. So just wait for 20 seconds and the screen will go black itself. That means the device has been successfully parted and it will reboot itself automatically into the TWRP recovery. So just wait for that. As I've already done this before, the device will not actually wipe my data. But if you're doing this for the first time, you will not have anything right over here and check for any mounting errors. If you do have any mounting errors regarding data and cache, it should be highlighted in red. You have to just go to wipe, advanced wipe, select data, repair or change file system, change the file system to F2FS for data. This will resolve all the errors and just mount the data. And for the cache, you have to again select cache, repair file system, change the file system to ext4 this should resolve any kind of mounting errors that you would be having previously once you do that reboot the recovery once and copy over the rom magics if you want to root again it's quite necessary in order to completely use the brightness and the brightness mod file once you're done copying the files go to install again select the rom add more zips select magics apk that you can download from link in description. You can just directly flash the APK. You don't need a zip. And the ROM will begin installing. This will take a couple minutes. As you can see, the ROM has been successfully flashed. There were no errors, even the magics. And before rebooting the system, I will do recommend just formatting your data. Type in yes. Reboot the system. And the Galaxy S7 logo will actually flash a couple of times before it actually starts booting. You will see a EvoX boot logo. Couple minutes later, the ROM has been finally booted and the setup is quite tricky. So if you just hit next over here, as you can see, the buttons are gone. Even the brightness is very low cause no adaptive brightness. So the skip button is right over here somewhere. You have to just hit it on the right spot. You have to maintain a balance between next or skip but the skip is definitely in this left bottom corner the next would be highlighted and now to skip this you have to just enter it choose any pattern maybe just set it up quickly hit next next fingerprint unlock later on skip Next, just do the tutorial quickly. Done, all set. And that's basically how you enter the system. Just close the setup, all set, swipe up. You should be at the home screen. And now in order to fix the brightness, then this recent apps button, you have to just log into the device and go to Play Store. 
so i'll just do that quickly and we are back so i've set up the wi-fi logged in my google account so first of all we'll need button mapper so just download that we'll need this first one as you can see that's the live notification open the app give its permissions allow background usage give it accessibility settings just like that then go to add buttons hit plus tap the recent apps button and as you can see it's tv audio description mixed down yep it gets detected weirdly in this rom so just add it quickly and set it for recent apps for a single tap just like that and then your recent apps button should be working just fine then in order to fix the brightness you will need to root the device so we have already installed magics but you will need to run an additional setup for that just download the magics go to the app so there's still a bit of a setup so before that if you have noticed the blur isn't working so we'll just completely fix that easily so go to the travel settings app go to display settings override the engine with the last one and enable blur effects just go to the magic app again hit install direct install recommended let's go this will finish the routing of device hit reboot and the phone now should be rooted with blur animations working and the phone is back up again so let's just unlock it as you can see the blur is now working fine let's just unlock the phone as you can see the blur is working but yeah the device will feel laggy for the first couple minutes let it load and then you have to just install the kernel mt apk again links in the description for everything i've just downloaded from over here so i'll be installing through downloads install the apk normally open the app it will ask for root permissions grant it once the root privileges have been granted just scroll down completely to custom controls add one import import the brightness mod just like that and now you can completely control the brightness of your device however you like so let me just put it on max and enable screen dimming so that it doesn't flicker on the screen and yeah that's basically it on how you can install android 16 on your galaxy s7 s7 edge note 7 note fe i hope you guys found it helpful please drop a like if you want more videos like this and see you guys in the next one